Okay, this morning I'm going to work on a little project here for my Excalibur scroll saw. As you'll notice, the table is rather worn out in terms of uh, surface anyways, and looks rather scruffy. And uh, I've had this thing about 10 years, and I think it's time for a table reface, so to speak. I found this... Uh, material online it's a uh, magnetic material uh, flexible magnet uh, material that is used usually for making signs and yeah, I, I guess I, I, haven't, I haven't tried it yet so I don't know exactly what I'm in for but we're gonna find out uh, it, it unwraps uh, certainly wide enough for the table and long enough for the table got about uh, 24 inches here and I'm gonna plan on cutting this to the size of the table putting it down hopefully magnetically it'll cling to the surface and I'll have a nice new tabletop to work from now we'll see if that's gonna work now to do this I'm gonna need some tools of course uh, I'm gonna I could do it with the table attached to the saw but what I like to do is remove the table and work on this on my workbench so I can get a nice even cut around the edges so it doesn't look too scruffy looking so what I'm going to need is this little hex wrench and I'm also going to need another wrench to unbolt the uh, bolts from the bottom of the table um, take a look at this I'll just remove my little dust drawer there Flip this over on its side, if I can do this. It's quite a heavy little demon. And just lean it against this other table. Okay. And we'll take a look close up at the underside of this table here. Let me just zoom in a bit. We get a good view of this. Okay, that looks pretty good. What we have to do is remove this bolt here. There's four of them on each point on the table and the uh, table should just slide right off without any difficulty. After we do that we're going to take this over to the workbench and work on it and see if we can accomplish this task. Okay we got a good view of the underside of the table and the uh, first nut that we're going to remove. So we'll put the wrench on that and I'll hold it on the other end with the hex wrench and we'll just turn this. And it's not too tight on there so it comes off pretty good so far. We'll just take that bolt off very carefully so I don't drop it on the floor because if it drops on the floor you know what happens it disappears under something and you never find it again okay so that came off rather easy it's nice and simple to get that down and this just pops right out of the table and, and should be all set now and ready to go we'll go on to the other three take those off and hopefully the table will come off nice and easily okay I've taken all the bolts out and screws only four of them came off rather easily no problem and now I'm going to remove the tabletop I hope never done this before probably need a drum roll here at this point but here we go let's see if it works it should come off nice and easily and it does all right very nice i suppose i could just flip the table over maybe huh i don't know it's not as smooth on that side as it is on this side well it came off very nicely i'll put it over here out of the way and we can go ahead and take a look at this scroll saw never seen a scroll saw like this with the or an excalibur anyways with the cover off like this but you can see 
a lot of dust has accumulated in there and uh, probably do a good blowing out in there before I reattach it later on okay we're going to take the cover over to the table now and see what we can do with it and uh, have the top off the Excalibur as you can see nice heavy steel plate feel good and I got my roll of uh, magnetic sign material <clears throat> I've also put down a piece of cardboard because I'm planning on putting this thing down on top of the magnetic material and using my very sharp knife brand new blade in it to cut around the edges so I get a nice smooth and even cut here this is what I'm planning on doing whether it works that way or not I don't know let's unwrap the uh, plastic off of this thing let's see what we've got here this is that plastic wrap that they used to hold everything together locally nowadays it seems to work pretty good coming off nicely I'm, I'm not sure whether this material is going to lay flat or not since it's been rolled up for a while might have to take a break and let it flatten itself out but we'll see how it goes here all right Get all this plastic out of the way here and let's see if we can unravel this thing it rolls out hopefully mostly enough I'm assuming this stuff will just tack itself down to the plate let's try it a little bit here see what it looks like yeah it seems to be holding down but of course we're gonna have to flatten it out first so let's put the let's put the uh, table aside for the moment that over here and let's lay this out flat we'll see how much room we've got how much material we've got how much room we've got it's quite tightly wrapped here that's for sure I don't know if the table is going to fit across this way it might let's see Use the table to help us hold this thing down. That's good. Pull out here. Slide this up on top. Maybe. <laughs> Be helpful if you had more than one person doing this, I guess. Magnetically being pulled down, of course, to it. So naturally, it's going to be kind of hard to get off there. All right. Let's lay it down this way. All right, great. We can maybe we'll get two tables out of this from the looks of it. Well, if you want your exercise, this is the way to do it. Slide that over. Bring it this way. Okay, while I was gone, I found that it was better to cut with scissors rather than to try to cut it with a knife. Even though as sharp as the knife is, is it uh, doesn't really want to cut through that very easily. It's probably going to be pretty messy if I try to do it. So, what I'm going to do is go to plan B, and I'm going to take a marker here. And I'm going to mark all the way around the outer edge. Of this material using the table as a template
there. Alright, now the job is going to be to cut as neatly as possible. I think I'm going to go up and get a better pair of scissors than I've got here though too. So that we get a nice cut as close as possible. Okay, I used my scissors to cut all the uh, magnetic material out. i got some Windex here right now. What I want to do is clean the top of this uh, table. Not sure if this is what Windex was meant to be used for, but I think it gives a nice glossy finish on windows, so why not on steel plate? Doesn't seem to be hurting it at all. Plus it dries very quickly too, so we don't have to fiddle the diddle around with it. And it seems to be coming off very nicely, taking some of the dirt off of there. Ten years of accumulation on the edges here too. <clears throat> now another thing I noticed too is when I put this magnetic material down, I'm going to have to cut a hole down here where the saw blade comes through of course, but I won't have to have these showing anymore either because the magnetic uh, material will probably cover right over those without any difficulty. Oh, I'm going to cut this hole yet, I'm not sure, but we'll see. <clears throat> Make sure the Windex all dries first. I'll come back and I'll try putting that material okay, on. Okay, it's all nice and clean and dry now. We're going to see how to put this on. I have a feeling this is going to be a fight because if you don't line it up right the first time, you're going to have a problem. And of course you should put the biggest end where the biggest end goes and the smallest end where the smallest end goes. Looks like that's lined up pretty good. Let's flatten it out a little bit. And we'll take this and pick it up and get it close to the edges as possible. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty good. And, by George, looks like it came out pretty good. It's a little bit ragged on the edges, but the surface looks nice and smooth. And all we need to do now is cut the hole in the middle here. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to flip this over, I think. Flip this on its back side here. Lay it down there so you can see where the hole has got to be cut. I think we can see that pretty good there. Alright, not sure if this is going to work, but what I'm going to do Instead of using the knife, I'm going to try my little Dremel tool with this uh, shaping or writing tool at the end of it. See if it'll cut through that plastic with no problem. to hit the edges of the, the plate but it seems to be doesn't seem to be bothering it too much cutting down through the cardboard
seems to have cut down through the cardboard okay. We can edge it a little bit with the knife here. Hope for the best on the other end. Not sure exactly how this is going to come out. But let's find out. All the magnetic material that I cut is sticking to the, the board, of course. Okay, let's flip it over here. <clears throat> See what the results are on this baby. Okay. Well, the hole looks about as good as it did on the other one. A little ragged around the edges, but not too bad. Probably shape it a little bit with this. And that doesn't look too bad. Okay, here's a close-up of the hole. Edges are a little rough, but I think we can live with that. I could have probably cut it smaller, I suppose, and made a better tolerance for it, but haven't had any problem with the hole the size it is. I don't do a lot of uh, real small cuts, so not really too worried about the wood falling through at all. Okay, continuing on with a little bit of experimentation here. I moved this to the edge of the table. And I made up a little sanding block. I'm going to try sanding along the edges here. See if I can smooth this out a little bit. Seems to be working pretty good. A little bit of an overhang here. I thought of maybe using a router on it. And, uh, Evening it up with the edges of the table, but I don't want to take a chance with metal on a router. But this seems to be doing a pretty good job. It's nice and smooth. Evening out the edges work. Yeah, I'll get a closer look at this. Okay, get a better look at it here. Just rubbing this back and forth. Evening it up with the edge of the table, taking that edging off, and smoothing it out. Not really necessary to do this, of course, but it depends on how fussy you are and how neat you want it to look. Um, I'm pretty happy with it as it is, but I thought I would just try this. Seems to work pretty good. I'm going to go all around the edges now and finish that off. Okay, I'm back over at the skeleton of the saw here. Got about 10 years worth of sawdust accumulated under here. Doesn't look too bad for that period of time, but what I'm going to do is take the vacuum to this and clean it out here a bit. I'm going to get a little bit noisy here, so prepare your ears. <clears throat> Okay, a little cleaner that was. That was for all you people who like to watch somebody vacuuming. Got a chance to see how it's done. Like, I'm sure you wouldn't know how to do it, but ha. here we go. All right. Clean this up a little bit more on the inside. Nothing really moving in this area, so it's not going to, hopefully it's going to improve the performance of the scraw, the saw, a scraw, a saw. But we'll do it anyway and see how it looks. 
a lot better than it was. All right. Now we'll go get the table and we'll put it back on. Bolt it up and see what we what we got here. All right, I've reassembled the table. We're back to what we had before. Nice plate top there. Now let's see if we can fit this on without too much of a hassle. Bring it over to the edge best we can. Looks about good. It's about good on that end. Pretty good on this end. Move it over a little more this way, I think. We'll use this hole to, as our lineup. Gotta go back a bit. That looks good. Use a little more to the left here. A little more to the right. And not bad. All right. Looks like we got it lined up nicely. All right. We'll put a saw blade on and give it a try. Actually, I thought before we put the blade on, I'm going to take a little bit of paste wax here. And I'm going to rub it all over here. Slick this up even more. Give us a nice smooth area to work with our wood. Just rub it over here. It seems to go on pretty good. Not any problem. Okay, we'll let that dry a little bit. And then we'll rub it off so it's not too sticky. Okay, I got a new saw blade on here now. And we'll put my dust drawer in here first. By the way, if you haven't built one of these dust drawers, you might want to try it. I got a little video up showing how to make these. These nice wings on the edges catch a lot of the dust that comes off of the table. And of course, the box underneath catches a lot of the dust as well. But right now, what we want to do is try this out, see if it works. No reason why it shouldn't. Okay, works very nicely and real smooth new tabletop almost like having a new saw well <clears throat> i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it uh, click the little like button down below and you can subscribe to my channel too if you want and you'll get the latest information on what new videos i put up until then next time happy sawing